quite a few barnacles attached to uh, the carapace of this red crab. You can see uh, the feeding appendages extending from, from that one in about the, the center of the screen. As we've been discussing today, you know, hard substrate is hard to find in some of these areas, so sessile organisms uh, have to use whatever hard substrate they find, the and in, right the in many cases for these barnacles, that's uh, the carapace and uh, of the, these large oh, okay. red crabs. Right backwards. You just drift away. Yeah. You go what? Pulling out. Full wide. Thank you. We do a snap zoom on this object in the middle of the screen. Sorry, are you talking the floating red tina floor? Oh, no, I meant on the sea floor. But Squat tina lobster. floor was interesting. Ah, uh, okay. Which Another one do you want? Tina floor Squat lobster was what by. I was looking at. Yeah. And uh, a red crab out in front of a, uh, a burrow. Small red crab. Okay, that's good. I was just trying to see what he was. There's a swarming shrimp. Okay, it's already drifting below us. Yeah, time to go up the hill, Carl. Time to go up. Up to me at point one. Very, very slowly. I guess I could have let you go after the shrimp. But that's okay. Seeing quite a few eels, perhaps those Sinapha branchid eels. On our Depth is uh, currently 832 meters. Beginning to see a few more burrows as we uh, move up this uh, sedimented slope. Did that crab just catch something on the Did upper left? Snap zoom on that uh, eel. Looks like yeah, there might be something, something attached to it. Leo, can we go in on this eel? He's coming under. Ooh. I could. A full wide. Might have a a parasite. Zoom on you, let's try again. Zoom in. Pulling. Uh, it's not very cooperative. Oh, there I'm it's chasing. turned. You got thrusters. Looks like a really large uh, <coughs> parasitic copepod on that okay. eel. Every time I start moving towards him, he switches direction. <laughs> Just to give you a little chat.